A simple presentation on auto theft programs before Minneapolis City Council Committee ended with Minneapolis police in the crosshairs for lack of communication. Yeah, Fox 9's Karen Scullin joining us now. And so, Karen, it sounds like it got a little tense in there today. Uh, you, more so afterwards, for sure. You know, it's presentation time for Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty talking about the success of her auto theft diversion program. But eventually, she started targeting the Minneapolis Police Department for not collaborating with her office. The chief was in the room, the police chief, but he was not asked to respond. What started as a presentation about an auto theft diversion program at the Hennepin County Attorney's Office ended with some serious finger pointing and frustration at the Minneapolis Police Department. Any implication that the Minneapolis cops are not doing everything they can to try and try solve that problem, not partnering with people to try and address it, is just not true and it's a slap in the face to the cops that are out there every single day putting their lives on the line to try and resolve this problem. Visibly shaken, Minneapolis Police Chief Brian O'Hara spoke after Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty started blaming MPD for their lack of communication and collaboration after she repeatedly said she wouldn't point fingers and lay blame. I am a big believer in collaboration. I have been in this system over 30 years in Hennepin County, and one of the things that I saw that was really destructive is finger pointing and blaming. But we need to communicate with each other, and that has been a problem right now. I would like to see that communication uh, between MPD and our office improve. It's really about collaboration, and I think to the extent that you can encourage MPD to collaborate and communicate with us, we are all going to be better off. As for the auto theft diversion program, she says it's a huge success. I think we are much more successful um, than our office has ever been. In 2023, she says 82 juveniles were referred to her program. 72 had no new charges and nine did enter the system again. It's not clear when they were referred in that time frame, but the Hennepin County Sheriff says something doesn't add up. I know from our referrals that we have sent, we have seen people come back. Um, multiple times, and some for uh, crimes uh, such as carjackings, auto theft, and assaults. While everyone was celebrating any juvenile who is now on the right path, it's the violent crime that concerns police the most. I am all for diverting juveniles when appropriate. But that is not the problem that we're dealing with right now. We need to do everything that we can to get these violent juveniles arrested, charged, and off the street. Now, the sheriff added into the conversation that when she refers juveniles to the program, she never knows what happens to them. The office, Hennepin County Attorney's Office, doesn't get back to them with the results of that. Clearly a lot of frustration today, and I have to say that I have never seen Chief O'Hara as upset as he was today. We are live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Karen.